Hello everyone, I'm just going to quickly rush through the, uh, the next ch chunk that we've got here. I don't want to go on for too long, otherwise, I, um, otherwise I'll have to break it down in two. In Walidus, so when last we spoke, we had Hercules talking about his father and um, saying basically, uh, take pity on my father, he's endured all of the seas, if you remember, and all the menaces, weak as he was beyond the strength and what he should have suffered at his age. Here it was, is this uh, next bit. Um, quin ut te suplex, so idem, that same man, Orans, begging me, praying, darbat mandata, gave me orders in direct command that I should seek you as a suppliant and that I should go to your threshold. Gnati que patrisque alma precor miserere, take pity, I pray, gracious one, have pity on the son and on the father. Nice ideas of piety here, respect for the elders, that's going to come later. Pity the son and the father, I pray you, gracious one. For you are omnia potes namque um, namcomnia. For you, literally, for you are able to do everything. For you are able everything. But for you have, for you are all powerful. And not nec nequi quam litotes, not in vain. Not for no point. Not in vain did Hecate, every time I see mention of Hecate, I think of witchcraft, I think of Medea, um, there's a darkness to there. Did Hecate place you in charge of, not in vain did Hecate place you, um, make you mistress in the groves, in the Lucis Avernis, in the groves of Avernus, of the underworld. Si potuit. If Orpheus was able, we now get a mixture of different stories from mythology. We have Orpheus, and his piety, and um, and we have Pollux and his piety, and then we have Theseus and Hercules, both sons of the gods, as your notes say. So, if Orpheus, this is the story of Orpheus and Eurydice, Orpheus, the greatest singer ever, who charmed the underworld with his beautiful lyre. If Orpheus was able to summon the ghost of his wife, if C. Orpheus, Potwit, if Orpheus was able to um, to summon the ghost of his wife if uh, sorry, Fred was confident in his Thracian kitara, old form of a guitar and trusting in his songs so if he was able to summon the spirit of his wife trusting Fred was confident in his Thracian kitara and in his tuneful melodies and in his um tuneful strings if C this is the story of Castor and Pollux this next bit, this is the story of Pollux who went down to rescue his brother on the understanding that each of them were taken in turns to, um, to, be, uh, to be in the underworld for six months if Pollux redeemed, do we want to say dying in his turn alterna, literally with an alternate death brought back his brother ransomed his brother and Itque and Totiens and so often comes and goes on the path and repeatedly comes and goes on his way. Quid Thesia? Lots of allusions here. Why speak of what of Theseus? What of Alciden here? As your notes tell you, Hercules can't scan in dactylic hexameter. What of the uh, of Hercules, the mighty one. So why must I speak of Theseus? What of great-hearted Alciden, Hercules? Both of these men, remember, have divine parentage like Aeneas. Et me genus, I too have descent from Jupiter most high. Et me genus, I also, and also for me, there is birth from Jupiter, from the utmost, from the highest Jupiter. I have divine birth. Remember, he's descended because of he's the grandson of Jupiter through his mother Venus, and he is also um, through his ancestry from Dardanus, who was himself a son of Jupiter. So both on his father and his mother's side, Talibus or Abat Dictis. With such words he prayed, and he tenebat, and he grasped the altar. Cum, when thus, when the Wates, when the prophetess thus began loqui to speak, sate sanguine dimum sprung, sate, born from the blood of gods, Trojan, son of Anchises, son of Trojan Anchises. I love this next bit. The descent to the underworld, the descent to hell, is easy. Noctes. Night and day lie open. 
night and day. The door of dark dis lies open. Noctes atque. So the janua ditis, the door of dark dis, of atri dis, the door of dark dis, of the underworld, lies open for night and day. So it's easy to go down into hell, but to come back is the more difficult thing. Think of Churchill. When you're in hell, when you're in hell, just keep going. It's easy, even if you think of Churchill in the context of that, of what he called the black dog of depression, it's easy to be depressed, getting over it is the task. Um, or in this case, conquering the ultimate adversity, as Sacchini pointed out, of death. But to recall your step and to escape to the skies above, this is the task, this is the labor, this is the struggle. Pauki, a few, quos, whom, aequus, whom kindly Jupiter has loved, or ardens virtus, or shining virtue, has awexit, has brought them up to the heavens. Dis geniti, sons of the gods. Do I want to say, yeah, sons of the gods, have potuere, historic infinitive, have been able. Tenant media, we then get this description. Woods hold all the middle ground. In all the middle space lies the woods. Tenant, look at the verb, look at the position in the sentence. The woods hold all the middle ground, hold all the space. And the cocytus, and the cocytus surrounds it, kirkumwenit, labens, encircling it with its atro sino, with its dark bend. Look for the context, look for all of these dark words, words to do with darkness, words to do with imagery, all of these um, different things that we've mentioned before. Very well done. There's another extra 15 lines or so for you, and I will see you all next lesson.